it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. It is Christmas. If you're watching this video on Tuesday, Merry Christmas. I had a Santa hat on, but I think my head's too big for it, honestly. Okay. So it goes like this. Oh, my head is too big. Cash. My head is too big. Does it look silly? <laughs> Does it look silly? It does, but it's Christmas. However, I am wearing matching pajamas with Brian for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so I figured I would put the top on for this video just to put myself in the Christmas spirit. So, if you are watching this, as I said, on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching this video on your Christmas. I know Christmases are like crazy for most families, especially if you have children, and then especially if you travel. Like, not just travel like... Okay, yeah, you pack your car and you drive somewhere else to like the in-laws or the grandparents or wherever to do Christmas. Or when I was younger, we would wake up on Christmas morning, do Christmas at my house, and then we would drive or my dad would come pick us up and take us to his house. And then we would do Christmas over there. I know Christmas Eve we did with my granny. It's just like, look, I love Christmas. I love spending time with family. It's like such a fun time, I too, I think, too, because Brian and I actually have a day off together, and it's just nice. So in this video, I want to switch it up. I mentioned uh, in our Q&A video, a lot of people asked about the recipes for the two things that I cook that Brian likes the best. That was chicken pot pie and fried pork chop. So I figured what I would do in this video is just something easy breezy. We're going to cook chicken pot pie. So hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave in the comment section down below what you're doing for Christmas. Do you stay home? Do you travel? Do you wake up super early, like butt crack of dawn and open presents? Or do you just kind of leisurely, whenever you wake up, make it out there and open your presents? Also, I will leave the instructions or this recipe in the description box. That way you can just screenshot it. I do want to credit, um, I got it from another YouTuber. What's her name? Stephanie Lita? Stephanie Leda? SMLXO. I love watching her videos. She did this chicken pot pie recipe a while back, so I've done it several times since then and Brian really likes it. I really like it too. So um, I'll leave that in the description box down below if you are interested in making it for yourself or for your family. It will be there. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I'll be back with like regular clothing videos on Thursday, but I wanted to just break it up and say thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me for an entire, what, like two years or so. Yeah, it's probably been almost two years that I've been consistently sitting in front of this camera filming videos two or three times a week. I'll post a video. I've been consistent with my three times a week uploads, and I'm very proud of myself because, as y'all know, I work a full-time job outside of YouTube, and it is hectic. Not just like a nine-to-five job. It's like a when there's crime, I go. When there's breaking news, I go. When there's, I mean, holidays, weekends, I'm there. So I want to say thank you for taking the time to hit the subscribe button. And every single one of y'all that comments, I read every single one of those comments. And I will reply to them or like them. Y'all know this if you've commented. And I just want to say thank you for taking the time to get to know me. You know, like, I know that I don't have that opportunity to get to know y'all in the same way. But... I really want to say that YouTube has opened like a whole nother like world to me. I've made so many new friends. Granted, you know, most of those friends don't live here in town, so I can't like physically see you. But, you know, I've just made some really great friends and I wouldn't change it for the world. I would do it a hundred times over again. In fact, I would start earlier. Like I would start making videos sooner. So yeah, that's my sappy uh, Christmas message <laughs> to you. So hopefully you like this video and please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps me to understand which videos you like and which ones you don't like as much. And I kind of, the ones that get a lot of views and a lot of likes and a lot of comments, I kind of stick to that route of videos because I know that's what y'all want to see. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy this recipe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Okay, first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 375. We will put something in there later, but I like to go ahead and preheat it. I'm taking my two chicken breasts and just boiling them to cook them. I find that's the easiest way. We will add seasoning to it later. Then you take celery, onion, and carrots. 
Um, I found chopped celery and onion, but I couldn't find the chopped little squared carrots, so I bought these and just ended up chopping them myself like this. Last time I did this recipe, I found an entire bag of chopped onion, celery, and carrots in like the Walmart produce section. They didn't have that at Publix, so that is what we went with. So now I'm going to mix all of those together. The carrots, that is the celery right there, and then I'm going to throw in some onion. I just eyeball it for the amount of vegetable that I want to include, and it works for me. Then I'm going to turn on an eye of the stove, put a little skillet there, put some butter to kind of grease that a little bit, and then I'm going to pour in those vegetables. And I want to kind of saute them until those onions are a little translucent. In the meantime, let your chicken boil. Once it starts boiling, put it on eight minutes. I probably let it go for about 10 minutes realistically because I want to be sure it's done. You know, I'm not trying to get raw chicken in anything. All right, so I'm just kind of stirring these vegetables, making sure that they get done. The chicken's done, it's been 10 minutes, take it out. I'm gonna chop it up into smaller pieces because I don't want like traditional like square pieces of chicken. I kind of want it a little more sloppy, like a little more pulled chicken type texture. I'm gonna pour it into that skillet with the vegetables that have been sauteing. Take one fourth cup of flour, one fourth cup, and then I'm gonna pour it over the chicken. You'll see that in just a second. That kind of just helps it to thicken up just a little bit because I don't want a runny chicken pot pie. I want it a little bit thicker. Um, that's just the texture that I enjoy whenever I make this. So that's why I put the 1 4th cup of flour in there. Now I'm gonna take two cups of chicken broth. This is going to just kind of give it a little bit of something. I could kind of tell that my vegetables were sticking to that pan a little bit, so I knew that it was time to put the chicken broth in. And then I'm gonna mix all of that together and let it simmer for three to five minutes, a minute, just depending on how fast your stove heats things up. Now I'm taking my pie dish. I am just going to spray it with some Pam so that my first um, pie crust doesn't stick. That is the worst. I bought these uh, Pillsbury pie crust, two in a pack from Publix. I know when I got this recipe, when I did it last time and I got everything from Walmart, I had to buy two individual pie crusts, not a big deal. I like the Pillsbury one, it works for me. I prefer that over the frozen ones. Now I'm just gonna take a splash of milk, mix it in there, and then it's gonna be time for my seasoning. So I have this roasted garlic and herb that I'm throwing in there. It's such a good, like, spicy taste, but it's such a good, like, it's such a good spice for chicken. Salt and pepper it like normal, mix it all together, And then we're gonna pour it into the dish with the pie crust already in it. Um, I like to kind of spread it out, just depends on how much you've made for the middle. This didn't make quite as much as I thought it would, so it was a little sparse, so I just kind of separated it, spread it out a little bit. I'm taking my other pie crust and I'm putting it over the top, and I wanna take the edges and just kind of press them down to be sure that everything in there, you know, gets going. I'm going to put it in the oven on 375 for 40 minutes. I didn't put pricks in it with a fork and I should have. I think it would have gotten, um, I think some of the moisture wouldn't have gotten sucked away I guess. Um, and then I'm cutting it. This is what it looks like on the inside. Served up. There you go.